Hello, you guys. My friends, my companions in life, welcome to the Wise Woman Way. You are here with Elizabeth Live. We are in the kitchen today. It's our Monday tea time with Tree. Tree, a.k.a. Elizabeth Live, or either Elizabeth Live, a.k.a. Tree. Tea time with Tree. So let's turn our whistle off. We'll let you some of the things get into our house. It's winter time in the northern part of um, the USA. And um, it's always good to let some uh, moisture get into the house to um, prevent the younger children and as well as ourselves if we're not getting enough water, which I try to make sure I get enough water. But I put moisture in the dry house, especially when you have to use your heat and based on the type of heating system you have, some houses and apartments um, have, or wherever you live, have vents in the ceiling that shoots out air and some of the vents don't be clean for years. Um, you also may have, you know, the, um, the um, electric heaters that run along the walls or, you know, um, the gas heaters that come out through, you know, different vents um, that blows out a lot of hot air. Hot air is basically dry air. And I tell you, if you're not out getting the sunlight, you're missing that vitamin D. And if you're not drinking enough water to stay dehydrated, um, no, hydrated, I'm sorry, then you can become dehydrated, okay? So that's just a tip we threw out there, just reminding. It's not that, you know, um, we're telling you anything that you don't already know. We just want to bring you back to memory. That's all we do. Some folks talk about my uh, tassels hanging in the window here. I kind of think they're cute. I love tassels. They just represent something unique. Anyhow, today, of course, we're going to do our tea. And I want to show you, you know, two different ways. Of course, you can do it the old-fashioned way. Um, but when you're working with loose teas, as we are today, and we're going to do our white willow tea. Now, this tea right here was introduced to me um, by my oldest daughter, Latresa. This is an awesome tea. Tea. I like it. Uh, two ways we can do our teas. This is one, you know, we put the strainer in for the loose tea. And we'll use this here. No, I don't even want to use that. Um, where is it? Yeah, this gives us a more appropriate size for our tea. Let's get ourselves one full teaspoon. And here we go, you guys. So we're going to get one full cup of our white willow tea. As you, well, I'm trying to make, uh-oh. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry, you guys. That's the white willow tea. It's a bark. We're going to go ahead, put it right into our strainer. You see? And then you pour the water just over that line. And of course, you let it steep for five minutes. If you want it stronger, go another five minutes or whatever you choose. Okay, you guys. And also, which we're going to use today, we have our one cup. <laughs> I love my daughter. She... Um, gave me this little simple one cup you know I guess for coffee you know because I do drink coffee I'm on the um, half and half coffee where it's half of the um, caffeine is cut don't need all that caffeine in my system but look at that isn't that a beauty that's also from my daughter Latrice she's very thoughtful and she know uh, I guess she know me everyone should know their daughter and every daughter should know their mother and sometimes it's not like that, but the hand that feeds you, the hand that helps you to heal when you're sick, when you're young, and no one else is around, you should know that person, and that person should know you. So anyway, you guys, here we go. Use the same one spoon 
that I put in the strainer. We're just gonna go ahead and put it into our one cup. Put it right there. Let me see if that's what, yeah, that'll be enough for me. Okay, so let me put these up here. So here we have, you can't even see it, but it's in there, you guys. And this is what we do, how we work with it. We take our tea and pour one nice cup right in here. No, it's not going to break or melt. But this is awesome because this also, and you don't want to make this here full, but this is what it looked like, the white willow bark tea, you guys. And all you have to do with this one is just put this up top. And I'm going to wait for about five minutes before I um, go ahead and press it down to where we get all the um, nutrient from the white willow bark out of here. So this is what this looked like. And normally you'll take this here and you'll push it all the way down. Give it five minutes so it can steep. Steeping is very important with tea. You want to get as much out of it as possible. And like I said in another video, sometime I um, we like to use our tea, whether it's loose or we cut it from out of a bag. We love to um, drink our tea without sweeteners. We think that is the best way to um, drink tea. Real tea drinkers drink tea without sweeteners. Of course, if you don't like your tea sweetened, do what you have to do. We'll give you this tip. We did another video where um, uh, one of the in-training <laughs> young, wise little lady uh, we tested different sweeteners from agave to um, what maple syrup. Um, we even tried regular pancake syrup, which some people use as a sweetener, and um, honey. And we also did another one. You can check out the video um, under Elizabeth Light, of course, um, and check out what our findings was it was amazing because uh, my daughter and and son-in-law have um you know said that the maple is the best and maple is the best why because the maple syrup is all natural from the tree the honey is from the processing of the bees spitting out you know, and step-by-step step doing what they do to make honey, which honey is delicious. But now if you are diabetic, honey, agave, even maple syrup and etc., will affect your um, blood sugar. It will cause it to rise. After the maple syrup, we found one of the best was to be agave. Now, we don't quite know the process of how they produce the agave, but we know that it's definitely an intervention with um, men doing a process to bring it to what it is. Stevia, um, supposed to be directly from a plant, but we don't like the powder, so when you open it, the dust just goes up in your nose. Sweet and low, Splenda, all those powdery, white powdery things, I don't like them. Um, I don't use them. I had used them in the past for years, especially Splenda. Kind of grew up using Sweet and Low at one time because my grandmother was a nurse and that was a preferred um, method of sweetener she would use. So as a young lady hanging around my grandmother or <laughs> chilling out with my grandmother because she we were homegirls. She took me everywhere. She exposed me to all kind of natural things in life and i will forever be grateful and lift her name and my mother my dear mother ellen murphy's name up because i had the best mothers in the world i had two mothers and my mother oh my goodness lord I used to lay my head on my mommy's shoulder. And since mommy, you know, and daddy has six children, I had to fight to get my chance to sit next to my mom and lay my head on her shoulder. That was the most comfortable spot in the world to me. 
Oh my goodness, that was a real comfort zone. So you see why we used to fight to um, sit next to mommy to lay our head on her lap or shoulder. Um, mommy used to all, mommy would always make us laugh. I love my mamas. Anyway, God rest my grandmother's soul, who we refer to as Nina, passed on. She left a legacy, a lot of teacher, um, she teachable things um, for those who were willing to hear and listen to um, what she was um, trying to enforce in us as young children and adults. God bless and rest her soul and my mother and my Aunt Pepsi, who I also learned things from, my Aunt Esther. Good Lord, she's also my godmother that gave me the name Theresa. Anyway, um, and my Aunt Jen is sweeter than honey. My Aunt Earlene always helping out um, other people, you know, aiding other people in life. I got some awesome aunts and uncles as well. But anyway, that's a subject for another day. We can finish that off. I want to let you guys know about a young, um, one of my oldest granddaughters. Um, her name is Kayla. She is so sweet. She grew up under my wing for the first eight years because her parents were working. But she went to school um, when she was becoming a pre... No, no, this was before preteen. She went to school for cooking, um, you know, on a elementary level. Uh, when I think she was around nine years old. Yes, yeah, she was around nine years old. And she came with some skills where I learned from her. So, you know, and today this girl can cook. And she's um, 15, about to be 16 years old. And she's a little cook around the house. I can't wait to those weekends when I go out to stay in the country um, with my um, grandkids. And she fixing dinner. And I mean, it's gourmet style. I feel blessed to have her as a granddaughter. Anyway, you guys, I think that this has been um, steeping for a while. And I want to show you guys, look at this. So how I do my tea, look at it, how nice it turned. I take, and none of the bark is going to go through because it's really screening. But I do this here to give it a nice push. Isn't that nice, you guys? Oh, my daughter was so thoughtful to get me something like this and I don't want to hold it there right here because it's all glass so anyway they go to tea after it's steeped and we're going to go ahead and pour some tea let me put the plant here because I love my plants you guys look at that though anyway here we go you guys a nice fresh pot one cup tea you guys look it do not get no better than this, you guys. Look at that. I'm getting all my tea. That willow bark tea. White willow bark tea. Now, let me tell you the benefits of this. I'll give you two benefits, and you guys can go ahead and Google it. This is what the tea is looking like, you guys. Wow, now I'm going to drink it just like this. Anyhow, let's see. Let's try it. I love that flavor. That's what I'm looking for, the flavor and the benefits. So here we go with the benefits. It, the studies have been done, and in their findings, multiple studies, they found that this here aids strongly and um, getting rid of inflammation in the joints. Isn't that awesome? So you know if it's getting rid of inflammation in the joints, it's working on all parts of the bodies that may, body part that may have inflammation. You know, inflammation is basically, you know, um, what I was going to, infl inflammation is basically infection in the body. Um, it's not you know, normal. Um, your body is at a dis-ease when there's inflammation. So the sear white willow bark tea helps to alleviate the um, inflammation in your body, which a lot of older people begin to suffer from. And this is also a great tea for people who are in pain. That is another one of the findings um, in multiple research. And their findings, they find 
that this really helps alleviate pain. So you guys have to try this white willow bark tea. Okay, you guys, we thank you. My goodness, for tuning in today. We hope you like what we do. We hope you can pull something from it. Um, you guys have an awesome day. May the heaven smile upon you. Be well, be wise, and always think higher in any situation because it will serve you. Ashe.